Hey, what is going on guys and welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be doing something that I haven't done in quite some time I'm going to be finally doing another Sporkle video and I haven't done a Sporkle video in the best part of four months And this Sporkle video I'm going to be trying to do an well, it's an impossible 2020 AFL chain quiz I've seen a few of these lurking around I feel like Cooko and Druzy did one of these videos quite some time ago But I thought I'd give it a go in this lockdown period where there's basically nothing to do and I thought what better to do than sit on my chair and test myself with some AFL knowledge on Sporkle. So 60 um, questions and if you get one wrong you're basically gone. So I gotta uh, concentrate here. I gotta be patient and I've gotta make sure not to stuff up. You press AFL to begin. Who's all-time leader in goals? I know this isn't 2020. It's Tony Lockett. You play for how many teams? You play for two. Just like um, uh, who else? Well, I've just got to look through. Not McGrath, not Brayshaw, not Smith, not Silvani. Um, you'd think Tim Kelly. But I don't know how, is this, has this updated? Well, Tim Kelly's played for two, but I think Gary Albert Jr. So I don't know if this is updated or not, but whatever, we'll go through that. Gary Albert Jr., who's won how many Guernsey numbers? Three, surely. Four, nine, 29 at the Cats. Which is the number this player placed in the Brownlow medal would be Angus Brayshaw. I'm pretty sure he placed really highly. So I'll go Brayshaw. He plays for which club? The Melbourne Demons. You go for the which was founded when? Oldest club in the AFL, so 1854. Five years before this club was, you think Melbourne Grammar, but I think... Or is it Xavier Colt? I have no idea. Xavier College, it could be Melbourne Grammar. They could be a screw-up, and it could be Geelong, for all I know. So screw I'm just going to skip it. I'm not, this is the one that I'm not 100% sure of. You can't skip, apparently. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Xavier College. I feel like I feel like they might have messed it up, and the answer is Geelong Cats. It is. I was smart. They messed it up. Because I'm pretty sure that it was Melbourne then Geelong. Whatever, we'll keep going. Who lost which player in the 2019 off-season? Uh, it was Tim Kelly. Where's Tim Kelly? There we go. All right, safe. We are. We've just beat a hurdle. Who went to which team? It was the West Coast Eagles. Uh, we have how many flags? I think four. Yes. Just like, not car. I think North Melbourne. I'm pretty sure North Melbourne have four. Yes, they do. Who were founded in? They, well, I would say they're not founded in... I think they're founded in 1869. So I feel like this quiz might be a little bit wrong. But I feel like 1925, because that's where the first year in the AFL, VFL was. So we'll go 1925. Three years before which forward was born. What, obviously not Martin or she. We're going to go maybe Fanning. Gary that's Probably Fanning, because Ayers is... Yeah, not Ayers. We'll go Fanning. It's not... It's not Fred Fanning. Who is it then? Oh, it's John Coleman. Fair enough. You know what? We're going to give this one more crack because I reckon we can get it done. All right, we're back to the, to the spot we were. It was pretty fast, only 30 seconds. Uh, you'd think the answer would be John Coleman. Yes. He kicked how many goals? That's a, yeah, this question. Who kicked how many goals in the He kicked 12 in his first game. You would never, ever see that ever again. Um, what a, an absolute champion he was. The amount of premierships this club has. Richmond, you'd say? I think Richmond. Yes, they won their 12th. Um, he beat which team in the 2019 Grand Final? That was the Giants. Pretty easy. He goes common medalist Jeremy Cameron. That's also pretty easy if we can find him. There we go. Where's which good Guernsey number? That's 18. Which is the amount of goals which play kicked in a single game. Fred Fanning, all-time record, and did it against... Shit, who did he do it against? Collingwood, it could be Collingwood. I wouldn't say Sydney. Oh, it might be South Melbourne, it could be Essendon. Do we want to use a lifeline? Uh, we're going to phone a friend, and the friend's Google. So we're going to phone a friend here, we get three lifelines. Uh, I just, whatever, how many goals did he kick it against? Oh, St Kilda. There we go, the Saints. It was the Saints, there we go, we used a lifeline there. Who drafted which player fourth in 2018? That was, um, it's Max King. Whose brother plays in which state? Queensland. So we've used one lifeline. We're going to use three. And I'm, they might all just be Google, to be fair. I'm not phoning a friend. Which is the home of how many 2019 finalists? Queensland was well, one. 
Uh, this number that, and the number this son of a former player wears. Former VFL player wears number one. The number this son, oh, probably Ben Silvani. Yes? No? 42. I reckon we can give it one more crack. And I reckon if we don't get it then, uh, we might as well call it a night or just call it a uh, video. But let's just go one more crack. We'll give it one more ch chance. All right. This makes this actually makes no sense. Um, I, I did Jack Silvani right, and they got it wrong. So it's like, if it's not Ben Silvani, if it's not Jack Silvani, it's got to be Steven Silvani. It, 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 it makes no sense. It's not um, Gary Ayres. Uh, we'll go Steven Silvani. It is. So this quest, this quiz is wrong in itself. So that's why I'm not going to quit. And we're going to keep going. His youngest son in the AFL is Ben Silvani, you think? Yes, his brother's Jack. Okay, lucky. He went to which school? It's only one. Oh, I see the Xavier College or Melbourne Grammar. Phone a friend. Phone a friend here. Look up Jack Silvani. Which school did he go to? Uh, Xavier. All right, might have might have been a waste, but at least we can secure ourselves a spot. Um, just like, oh no, oh it could be anyone. I feel like the video might be done right now. Who went to Z Xavier College? We're gonna phone a friend. We're gonna look up Xavier College. Oh god, uh, surely it has a Wikipedia page. It does. Surely it says like notable uh, people who've um, attended the school. And then this is not good because that means. Come on, where's AFL? AFL, Joe Watson, Bailey Smith. There we go. The flying mullet. It was Bailey Smith. Where's Bailey Smith? He's Yeah, there he is. Okay, well, that's it. That's my last lifeline. I can't use any more lifelines. Who plays his... Who played his rookie year in... 2019? Yes. Yeah, it was. And the Brownlow Millers that year was Nat 5. 2019. Brownlow Millers... Oh, there we go. There he is. Nat 5. Who plays for Frio. Who was founded when? 1994. The year this team won the wooden spoon. Oh no. It was either Essendon or Sydney. Or Collingwood. I'm going to go Sydney. Yeah, it was Sydney. I knew, I think they used to be really bad back then. Uh, they used to be South Melbourne. But relocated just like how many other teams? Who, how many teams relocated? Only Sydney went to South Melbourne. Only South Melbourne went to Sydney. Oh, Fitzroy. Um, but I'm going to go zero. That was a clutch point because I had no idea. All right, the amount of flags, ha flags, how many current clubs have? Three, Gold Coast, GWS, and um, Fremantle. And this num the number this player wore. War. Not Sheed. Oh, Bartel, who retired in 2016. The year who drafted... Uh, Andrew McGrath was drafted first. Yes. Who plays for which team? Essendon. We're flying through this. We've won how many premierships? 16 along with Carlton. Same as which team? There we go. Carlton. Whose BNF winner was? It's got to be Cripps. It is. Who wears... No, he wears number nine. Just like... Okay, there we go. Um, we can't phone a friend. No, Dom Sheed. It wouldn't be Dom Sheed because none knew he wears nine. It wouldn't be Dustin Martin. He wears number four. It could be either Charlie Spargo or Gary Ayres. Charlie Spargo, Gary Ayres. You'd think that he'd be a current player. Now, I don't remember any Melbourne player wearing number nine, so it's probably going to be Spargo. Oh, if only Kados was here, he'd help me out. We're going to go Charlie Spargo. Yes! Who went to, uh, obviously, Melbourne Grammar. That's the only school that's left. Just like this player. Oh, that we had another hurdle. All right, we got... This is the last hurdle. I've got no idea. I'm pretty sure Dustin Martin's not from Victoria, so I wouldn't go him. Gary Ayres, I wouldn't have... You, you wouldn't pick Gary Ayres. Dom Sheed, I feel like he's from Western Australia or not from Victoria. Sidebottom or Langdon. I feel like Sidebottom might also be from another state, so we're going to go Langdon. Click. Yes! Come on! Who plays for Collingwood? There we go. What a clutch point that was. Who most recent grand final was in... Um, 28. Oh, not premierships. 2018. All right, there we go. Nine to go. Who? Where this player kicked the game winner? Dom Sheed. Dom, Dom Sheed with the clutch. With Thank, touch. You Thank you very much. Very in uh, 20, yeah, 2018 parody. 
Uh, who wears which number? Dom Sheed wears four. Just like Dustin Martin, who wears how many Norm Smiths? Two. Just like. Just like Gary Ez. You'd think Gary Ez, because I don't think Sidebottom's won two. It is Gary Ez. Who, is which, who has which award named after him? Best player in the finals, leagues, best and fairest one. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I don't think that the Pies... The, I don't think their um, best and fairest is the elite, is the uh, the uh, Gary Ayers medal. So you know what? We're going to go best player in the finals. Please, 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 please. I'm not looking. Yes, we've got it. And who has won by who in 2018? Well, it's got to be side bottom. Only other player left. Who came second in which award? Oh, all right. <laughs> okay, who what was it? Brownlow or, or, or best and fairest? Oh, 2018. I feel like he might have won the best in first in 2019. I feel like he came second in the brand low. Alright, clutch. Yes, we got it. And each year it is awarded to the league's best and fairest winner. We've got it. 100%. Um, actually, when you think about it, it said the league's best and fairest winner. And, I mean, Collingwood best and fairest isn't the league's best and fairest winner. But there we go. We got 100%. It took... Three attempts and a few phone of friends, but we got there at the end. Uh, that was a fun quiz to do, and it was uh, quite quite um, entertaining, nerve-wracking at the end. But well, we got the job done in only uh, hand, well, only three attempts, really. Um, so if you join this, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe for more AFL content just like this. Uh, I'll see you guys very soon in my next video, and I appreciate the support. We are so close to 4K subscribers.